Lieutenant Surge is the only Kanto gym leader that I haven't done a theme deck for, and I've got a lot of requests for it, so, um, let's, let's do it. And before I get it down in the comments, yes, I'm very aware that Lieutenant Surge has two Electabuzz cards that work really great together. They're really great cards, probably the best Lieutenant Surge cards, but... Lieutenant Surge doesn't even have the best electric Pokemon in the gym sets. You all know that goes to Rocket Zapdos, which, besides Sneasel maybe, is probably the best single attacker in the base Neo format. But when playing Rocket Zapdos, sometimes there are lulls where you need to get it back onto the bench and heal it up a little bit before you send it back in to do the combo of Plasma and Electro Burn to get those 70 HP knockouts. But during those lulls, I remember back to when I was playtesting all of my Misty theme decks, and there's one card that I feel is very underutilized in this format that pairs very well with a Lieutenant Surge card. I'm bringing back Counter-Attack Claws, and the reason that it is underutilized is because it depends on a coin flip to deal the damage back to the attacking active on your opponent's side of the field, but Lieutenant Surge's Electrode Shock Blast power is very similar and serves as kind of a backup, if not an addition to the damage that is going to be done to your opponent for attacking. With the drawback of Shock Blast being that if you deal that 20 damage back to your opponent, you're also dealing 20 to yourself, which is no problem for a lot of Rocket Zapdos builds that are already used to retreating to the bench and using Super Potion to heal up from damage anyway. And obviously this card needs its own form of support, much like Rocket Zapdos does. So really, how do they support each other? Well, it's mainly in the trainer base, so let's get into the complete build. Guess what? Cleffa for support and setup. Gotta get that hand refresh going, you know? Oh man, I I get sick of talking about Cleffa, uh, but it is so useful in decks for setup. Sadly, uh, I won't be able to stop talking about Cleffa until we get to the e-reader format, which has its own problem, so yay! Look, look forward to those e-reader format videos coming 2022 probably. So there are two Surge's Voltorbs and I typically go for the one that has higher HP. There is one with 50 HP. However, in this case, I do want to go with the one that has an attack for one energy, even though it's a fucking terrible attack that the wording doesn't even really completely make sense on. But, you know, you can choose. You're not really going to be attacking with the Voltorbs at all. So if you want to go for the 50 HP one, that's probably the smarter bet. Um, just for this deck, though, since it is so focused on getting exact numbers of damage to knock out specific Pokemon, mainly those with 70 HP, a Lieutenant Surge's Voltorb can finish off a Pokemon that survived on a Focus Sash, and that's mainly why I included in this deck. Running four Voltorb, three Electrodes, and three copies of Rocket Zapdos. And your main strategy is going to be using Plasma, getting energy onto Rocket Zapdos so that you can start dealing 70 damage per turn. Now, Electro Burn is going to deal 40 damage to Rocket Zapdos every time you use it, which is why you will need to retreat it to the bench and keep your opponent from taking prizes by using Super Potion, discarding an energy off of Rocket Zapdos in order to heal off that 40 damage before swapping it back in to deal another 70. In between those attacks, you're going to be very reliant on your trainer cards in this deck. Oak and Elm are going to help you get that set up, get all of these trainers you need in your hand. And then I'm running three copies of Gust and three copies of Double Gust because you are going to be moving between Electrode and Rocket Zapdos back and forth so much that you're going to need these cards and you're going to want to pull out targets to attack with Electro Burn. You don't want to waste any of those attacks since they are doing 40 damage to you too. So Double Gust is going to be the fastest way to get that Zapdos onto your bench, keep it away from it, stacking more damage on it during your opponent's turn, and then that's when you're going to be able to use these Super Potions on it. Meanwhile, what you're going to be swapping in is Lieutenant Surge's Electrode with a counterattack clause on it. That way your opponent has to hesitate and think about if they want to attack you because counterattack clause has a 50% chance to deal 20 damage. Electrode has a 50% chance to deal 20 damage. So your opponent really has to play the odds with attacking this Electrode because it could deal anywhere from 0 to 40 damage back 
and that's not even in attack damage. You're also going to be using these super potions and gold berries to heal up electrodes. If you're flipping tails, then you're also damaging yourself as well as your opponent's active, and a way to keep electrode in that stall position is to just go ahead and heal that damage off of it. You're not going to be placing any energy cards onto electrode. Uh, have recycle energy in this deck just for Cleffa and for Super Potion. That way you can use it over and over without really putting any energy in the discard. Not that uh, Rocket Zapdos really minds that. It actually likes having some lightning energy in the discard. But just the combo of Counter-Attack Claws and Electrode is really effective and very anti-focus ban because your opponent could be left with a Pokemon that only has 10 HP but it is fully loaded with energy. Well, it could attack and even knock out that Electrode, but at the cost of getting itself knocked out before your turn even begins and so they would have to swap something else in giving you an opportunity to move out a fresh Zapdos that's also fully loaded. Item Finder to reuse your Super Potions, your Double Gust, and your item cards that are so important to this deck and then I'm also using Rocket's Minefield Gem where when your opponent plays a basic Pokemon they flip a coin and if Tails they have to put two damage counters on that Pokemon which is gonna make them even more hesitant to attack a Lieutenant Surge Electro because if they're hitting the coin flips wrong, if you're hitting the coin flips right, then you're gonna be dealing up to 60 damage to your opponent just for them playing a basic and attacking an electrode with it. And it is unlikely that you'll hit all three of those coin flips in your favor. However, it does just help to spread damage around and set up Pokemon to be knocked out by Rocket Zapdos, either with a Plasma or an Electro Burn. Because like I said, with Electro Burn, you want to make sure that you are getting a knockout when you use that attack because it does have so much blowback. And yeah, Goldberry can heal that in between turns and really make it like it doesn't really mean anything, but you're not always going to have that Goldberry. And it's nice that if your opponent's Pokemon does survive off of a Focus Band, that you have something you can switch into that'll make it so they don't want to attack back because then they're going to lose that Pokemon. Minefield Gym is going to be more of a counter stadium, more like waiting for your opponent to play their stadium and getting all of your basics down, getting that Cleffa back onto the bench if you can, and then playing Rocket's Minefield Gym to get rid of theirs and really disrupt what they were planning to do on their next turn. And you might think that, well, this deck relies on Electrode's power to stall a little bit, so it's just going to be disrupted by Muck, like a lot of other base Neo decks that could have been great otherwise. Well, Muck is afraid of two main things. That is Gust of Wind and Rocket Zapdos. This deck has plenty of both, so as long as Muck has 70 HP, it's going to be afraid of Electro Burn, and it's not going to be a problem for this deck. Narrow Gym is another stadium that works pretty well with this deck, or you could use it alongside Minefield Gym, using Narrow Gym early game to limit the amount of Pokemon that your opponent is playing. That way, when you're spreading around this damage, it's going to stack up on fewer targets, meaning that your opponent can't really spread the damage around to lessen it amongst all their Pokemon. A lot of Zapdos decks like to use Metal Energy for the Electro Burn attack, since it's also going to reduce the damage done in recoil, so it's only dealing 30 back to Zapdos instead of the 40. However, it's also going to reduce the power of Electro Burn down to 60 damage instead of 70. And I think that 70 is such a key number for Electro Burn, because so many targets are going to go down to that, that if you reduce it to 60, you're really going to be hurting the overall effectiveness of the deck. Now, this deck does kind of cover that weakness with Electrode and Counter-Attack Claw, so if you did want to include Metal Energy, you could cover for that 10 less damage by swapping in a Clawed Electrode. However, I really just like getting that knockout as quickly as possible and then utilizing the Electrode as a stall while I'm healing Zapdos. The main reason that people use Metal Energy is because Rocket Zapdos was going up against Sneasel a lot, and Sneasel only has 60 HP, so in that case, 60 is the key number, but when you're facing things like Big Basics that all have 70 HP, or even things like Steelix or Metal Chansey that are going to take at least two hits to knock out, you really need to get as much damage as possible on there. The inclusion of Metal Energy really comes down to your matchup by matchup damage calculations and whether or not you really need that extra 10 damage or not. I realize this isn't exactly a Surge deck like the other Gym Leader decks I've done are, but just hold on to your butts because I've got another Surge deck coming soon, and no, it is not Electabuzz. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, all the stuff that really helps the channel, helps me get more viewers, helps me create more content, 
Let me know if you found any good use from Surge's Electrode or any of the other Lieutenant Surge cards. I am nearing the end of my list for base Neo decks, so if you've got any base Neo requests, go ahead and throw them down there in the comments so I can try to deck build and playtest through them before I shift gears completely into Neo On. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.